My name's James and welcome to R&R, the show where I react to and review some of the latest and greatest music videos. Today, I'm going to be checking out the studio and live version of Fuck This Up by No Ep featuring Chinchilla. Let's go. Show me what you came here for Did you come here for me? Can't hold it together no more Can I tell you how I feel? Though it's only late October Still feels colder without you here Can I hold you in late October? We're only getting older Honestly, the track itself, it's its nice, it's bouncy, it's its very clean as well. You know, uh, this track, I can absolutely see it going completely nuts in a club. Sometimes you get some, some house tracks, some club tracks where it's like the quality of the sounds is 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 just super brittle and like really harsh but everything here is nice it fits well i i really like that sub bass it's it's got almost like a little bit of character to it without it doesn't really seem like there's any sort of saturation or anything like that on it but yeah it's it's nice i've never actually listened to no ep if that's how you pronounce it before a, a commenter on one of my chinchilla videos mentioned to go and check these tracks out from no Ep that are featuring chinchilla so uh, i knew that there was yeah a little bit of a, a different vibe going on a bit more of a club style genre from no Ep. as for chinchilla's vocals you know they they are also yeah just nice clean fitting really well in that core section it almost feels a little bit higher in her pitch than usual it also does feel, you know, that, that I mean, something that it's it's almost essential when for these types of tracks that there is going to be some very heavy vocal processing, both on the pitch correction side of things and also on the just general sort of compression, EQ and effects. And that's absolutely what we get here. We also get, you know, sort of that, a bit of a chopping up of the vocal as well. Something that I guess we don't get quite a lot in these sorts of tracks is a very good and entertaining video clip. And so far, you know, the storytelling, there, there is so much, you know, it's, it's not even 90 seconds into the music video and there's such a great snapshot of these two characters and a, a progression of their story just within 90 seconds and it's been fun and entertaining and it captures you so well you know i want to see where this well i guess we've already seen where it progresses to because the the opening shot you know shows them getting married but yeah it's um I guess this is kind of filling in the blanks. I do hope that we get a bit more of Chinchilla, but knowing that there is a live version, I feel we'll get a bit more of Chinchilla there as well, so. Some really nice atmospheric sounds as well, just sort of off in the background of the mix. Great use of dynamics as well. Ha <laughs> ha 
Reveal. You got me. Damn, that was cool. Absolutely was not expecting there to be that twist. So the, the fact that, you know, yeah, a, a music video clip, you know, just over three minutes long can really, I mean, th that's just such a great example of, of what you can do with three minutes of time. You know, the, the, the story that you can tell. Yeah, such a great example of, of how to take a, take a club track as well. You know, something that I guess a lot of people probably would write off and just say, you know, it's lifeless. It's all, you know, other than the vocals, it's all, you know, virtual instruments possibly at some point were real instruments that have been you know replicated but yeah to to give a club track so much depth i think i could i think people could do a study on that a study on that film clip almost needs to be done to show yeah how you can take something with that per perception of a lifeless, meaningless, almost sort of song just because of the genre that it's in and give it lots of life and lots of character and lots of depth to a story. Because there's definitely been other music videos that I've seen from electronic artists that have done a similar thing. You know, there's there's story, but they, they always seem to be a bit more on the fun side of things. And there doesn't seem to be so much depth where, yeah, three minutes. It's super impressive to be completely honest. You know, we didn't really get too much more from Chinchilla, but I don't think that's kind of the purpose in these songs. In this song, you know, the club style track, it's, you know, Chinchilla's just in there lending. It's almost, almost just yeah, a lending hand to add some extra depth to the track and also give voice to maybe the female character that was there where it's, you know, you've got no ep, I'm assuming doing the vocals throughout the verses, giving life and giving voice to the, the male character, but then you've got Chinchilla giving life, giving that voice to the female character. So I can see the purpose there to have Chinchilla. I do hope there again is a little bit more from Chinchilla in this acoustic version, this live version. So let's check that one out. This is super cool so far. 
I will say something that kind of gets masked in the official version is both No Ep and Chinchilla's vocals. I definitely mentioned that from Chinchilla's perspective, but you could kind of pick up on it in the official version. But in this one, yeah, you really get a better sense of No Ep's voice, obviously, but the but the accent and and the way that he pronounces certain words it's really quite interesting you know there's certain words that he doesn't quite finish or or at least enunciate you know to to its fullest extent and that kind of gives it a bit of a texture a bit of a flavor a bit of a a mood as well and it's it's a very good contrast as well particularly to chinchilla's vocal that's sort of yeah a, a nice little special touch it's also great to see you know a, an electronic producer that is obviously uh quite a good musician in their own right which is something that you don't get quite a lot in the edm sphere i would say a small pet peeve for me that usually sets me off <laughs> previously is that when sort of like the overuse of particularly reverb effects in live performances however in this one it almost feels like the color grading feels like there should be a lot of reverb being used um, particularly that the type of reverb and, and the sort of lush cleanness of the reverb that's being used it it's it's definitely it's fitting very well both the song and also the mood that's getting presented on screen again can we not lock down a lot go back to the start you know what i mean Though it's only late October, still feels cold though without you here. Mm. Can I hold you on late October? We're only getting all the nice harmonies. Flames in our smoke. But I know we're gonna fuck this all. But I know we're gonna fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. But I know we're gonna. How beautiful. I guess that is one of the great characteristics of a very good song is that if you can strip it back, take away all of the bells and whistles and simplify it to a single instrument and a vocal, or in this case, you know, two vocals, it really shows the quality of the song, of the songwriting, the testament, you know, of that. And I think that's exactly what gets represented here. You get the song. And I guess this is something that has popped up time and time again when I've covered Chinchilla, is that the live versions really do seem to, yeah, just pull that messaging, pull the purpose to the front and, and really, just lay bare the reason behind writing the song, the purpose of the song, the reason why you know the song should exist 
and does. I think the biggest takeaway from this one for me is definitely the contrast between Chinchilla's vocal and No Epp's vocal. I feel that when we get those live performances with, with Ren and Chinchilla that there's almost at some points uh, a bit of a competition happening, a friendly competition. And and they the, that pairing, you know, they seem to bounce off each other quite well. Whereas with this one, the, the, the contrast is so nice to have. It's so nice to have someone be able to still deliver a great vocal performance, but give, give space for Chinchilla to really take hold of the song, take hold of the lyrics and the meaning of the lyrics and 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 be able to move the song to a different level of intensity just by by giving her the focus in those sections where where the song needs it. In a lot of ways it really does show the professionalism and a great producer knows when to step in, when they need to, you know, influence the person that they're working with in particular ways. And I feel, and also when not to, when to hold back. And I feel from Moep, at least just from this single performance, I, I can kind of see that, I can see that this is, yeah, you know, there's a song here no Epps most likely written it, I would assume, and that it just needed that extra voicing, that extra character to take it from a, a single perspective to that dual perspective that we get. And it, it really, absolutely, in my opinion, serves the song so well to have this as somewhat of a duet. We don't quite get the full story from the female perspective, but we get it enough to the point where the the meaning of the song, the purpose of the song, and the emotion of the story is is really apparent and and sort of laid bare. And that's really great, really beautiful to hear, to see to experience. Now I know there's another track from Noep that also features Chinchilla. Let me know if you guys want me to check that one out. However, that's it for me in this one. Be sure to let me know what are your guys' thoughts on Fuck This Up by Noep featuring Chinchilla. And if you enjoyed this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel, check out one of these other videos appearing before me, and you'll catch me in the next one.